First of all, my feet are too far away from the rest of my body. But the only way I can get my socks on is to like, I've learned this from, a, from another fat guy. I have to kind of like wedge my foot this way. This is a good learning tool for all you fat guys out there. Even though I'm no longer 300 pounds, I'm still disgustingly fat for some reason and can't move. And so I gotta wedge my foot here like yay, just to get my sock on. And yeah, as you can see, it's still no easy feat. Get it? Feet? It's still not that easy to do. Oh man. The trials and tribulations of being a fat fuck. Speaking of fat fucks. I hope you choose to get diabetes. What do we have over here? Fat Dan has left his bag unattended. It uh it smells like football pads. Like uh those of you that played football, you remember the uh, smell of the locker room? When, uh, like during two days when no one had time to wash their shit. That's what this bag is smelling like, even from this far away. We got some old school slingshot wraps that look like they have a little bit of death on them and maybe a little bit of the HIV virus kind of through this area, so I won't touch that. Oh, yeah, he's natural, huh? Mm hmm. 30 pounds of muscles in three weeks, all natty. Not even crazy. Yeah, natural. Seriously, Dan? Let's see what else we got here. We got one power wrap. This one he probably stole. Fat Dan doesn't like to pay for stuff. He stole something of robots. A slingshot, uh, a slingshot strap. It's got some world record knee wraps. He won't be setting any world records anytime soon. Hopefully he hits up a big sweat coming up. He's got an old school, uh, see he's got two different kind of wraps. This is what happens when you're new. You have a lot of hand-me-down stuff. Um, if you ever go to a powerlifting meet and see some of the new guys, they have like the funkiest singlets because they got like some hand-me-down from some giant fat guy that doesn't fit. Or they're wearing one that's way too tight. So he's got one stiff knee wrap and one kind of loose one. One stretchy one. This has some sort of candy wrapper on it. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a protein bar at least. At least there's evidence of uh, some nutrition, at least being attempted by Fat Dan through this bag. A Quest bar. I bet if we look through here further, we're gonna find a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with the crust cut off. How dare you, smelly, mock, an engineered genius like the prototype. I look in your genetic lunchbox and find a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with the crust cut off. This looks like some women's panties, perhaps. I don't know what this is. <laughs> bow tie in a gym bag and like a real bow tie. Like, you know, I don't know if Dan would know how to do that, but I certainly don't know how to do that. Maybe. I don't know what this would be for. Maybe it's like to choke somebody or something? Bondage. Bondage, yeah. Um, we have a pair of keys. And then we have, let's see, how am I gonna pick that up? We have a sock. This is probably the sock that he uses to stuff his singlet. <laughs> Because everybody needs a sock or two, or in my case, four, uh, in their singlet. I don't know what's going on here. It's it's pretty like stiff looking though. I don't know what's going on, but at least he has a pen. That's a good thing. He's got some other form of pre-workout here, some NO Explode. Dan is big into the working out, it appears. We have a salted caramel protein bar slash granola bar that looks like it's probably been in here for about two or three years. 
Oh, let's see what else we got. We got a lot of tissues. I'm not going to even try to touch those. And then we have some sort of super thing. Super Foods Fat Burner. You guys can really see um, how well this has been working for Dan. He's lost uh, 10 pounds in about the last two years. Oh, uh, got some receipts. Um, looks like we, over here we have something else to get him fired up. Apparently he's low on energy. There's a lot of things in here that are trying to give him some energy. He's got some knee sleeves. And diabetes. So I'm not gonna go near that singlet. And I think that's about it. That about covers uh, fat bands. He's got some hats. He's got a hat from our boy Matt Vincent. Paint brand goods. And he's got a hat from our boys at uh, Bacon and Barbells. All this stuff, pretty much everything that you've seen in here, I think almost everything in, in here, he has paid about 10 bucks for it. So that's Fat Man's uh, gym bag. And that's all we got time for for now. Time to bench. diabetes.